Hey, what's up, everybody? We're here at Norman's Rare Guitars. Uh, I am Jordan, if you do not know, the annoying son of Norman's Rare Guitars. But uh, when I go home and I do any work in the studio, there's two kinds of uh, musicians that I have over. Ones that tell me that they know the right things to play, and it's usually by the book. And then guys like my man over here, and this is Henny, Henny Hendricks, the man, who just moved into town from DC and really plays the right stuff some, you know, the guys that play outside of the box and know how to think outside of the box and not just the stuff that, you know, is taught in classes. Uh, so at my house, this is the kind of, the tasteful players you'll see. That and that guy over there is Dylan Day over there. Man, say hi. So, you know, tasty players like that get invited to Casa Del Rock and Roll. So anyhow, <laughs> nice, nice. yeah, we, we brought out this, uh, you know, this trashy thing that we found in the trash in the back. This is... One of the nicest 62 strats that you'll ever see. Wanted to put my man in the right light and uh, do me a favor and uh, show him a little sweetness on that guitar Don't there. Don't mind if I do, man. It's amazing. When stuff happens like that, when you hear stuff like that, which leaves a lot of space in between, you know, the different phrasings and stuff like that, man, that's where it really counts. And that's the stuff that, you know, real musicians know to look for. It's not about all the extra notes and a million, you know, spaghetti notes all over the place. It's about taking your time with it, Definitely. coming up with great music and great songs. And it doesn't, you don't have to be the most technical player in the world to be a great songwriter. And you don't have to be, you know, Oh wait, did I say that right? I have, let me say it like this. I have some friends that are the worst guitar players I know and they write amazing songs. And then I've got some friends that are so technically inclined when it comes to guitars, but they can't write a good song. So it doesn't matter where, what level you're at, but what is important is trying to use good taste these days and coming out with good music and knowing the fact that less is more and not filling up all the space with just a million different things. And just because you own a Pro Tools system doesn't mean that you need to do it all. Get the right people for the job for each little, uh, you know, section of your band. And this is one of my choices right here. This guy just oh, moved man. into town. He also works with uh, um, some really cool R&B groups that you might have heard about, like Drew Hill. And um, he's also with uh, doing, what are you with Mario yep. right now? Mario he's got right a now. new record coming out. Yeah, he does. So, you know, a working musician. Uh, very rare in these, these days. And uh, only the tried and true. Get to come out and keep going yeah man just amazing guitar um, oh thank you norm and jordan you guys always pick like the best guitars man oh, i'm thanks, almost afraid man. to play it because it's so beautiful but yeah, the man, sound this is, is crazy this, this is what it's all about is good players playing the right stuff and you know so you're well deserving believe me anybody who needs a good session player in town this guy just moved into town and this is the guy right here I'll, i give him two thumbs up he comes in and kills it 62 strat man this is hashtag goals right here <laughs> <laughs> there it is my man, Henny Hendrix, the man. Look out for this guy. 